phonics. So we think of phonics as a word identification strategy because it helps students use letter sound correspondence to decode words or to pronounce words. And, and we've done a lot of work with phonics involving letter sound correspondence. Now, the words that I'm going to show you, um, the, a lot of the words involving phonics were single syllable or two syllable, very uh, high frequency words, meaning they're everyday words. Look at these everyday words. Um, we have here uh, cat, ship, spoon, boy, day, street, bright. These are all single syllable, high frequency, everyday words. Would you agree? And each one of these is filled with some type of single syllable phonics pattern. If you, if you look at it, let me uh, move my camera here a little bit here. We have uh, a CVC word right there, CVC. We have a uh, constant diagraph there. Uh, we have moving it over, we have a blend, and we have a, a vowel diagraph, the double O and spoon. In boy, we have oi, a diphthong, in, right? In day, we have a vowel, a vowel team. Right, two vowels that make the, the first one does the talking, the second one does the walking. In street, oh, we got street here, right here, we have a constant cluster and a vowel diagraph. In bright, uh, we have a couple things. We have a blend, BR, and we have a trigraph, three things that make one sound. Look at all those phonics patterns going on in these regular, everyday, single syllable words. So we want to have an awareness of this stuff so we can spot these things on the day of the test. So this, this comes back to your, um, your awareness of you know, syllable types. And, and you're going to see phonics and phonics mistakes a lot on, on your essays, OK? The thing with phonics is this. Sometimes the student is good in one area. Like, for example, they're able to spot you know, um, decode basic words like CVC words and words with constant blends and constant diagraphs but they struggle with another more specific area. Maybe with, within single syllable words, they struggle with uh, diphthongs or clusters, right? So, so you want to have an awareness of all the skills involved in phonics so you can spot what they're doing correct. And you can also identify the specific areas of need in phonics or letter sound correspondence that are holding the student back in their fluency. So this one is a really important section, and you want to feel comfortable spotting strengths and weaknesses within phonics. Okay? Very important one. You're probably going to see this on all your essays to some degree. Okay? Let's look at another word identification strategy that we want students to have, and if they don't have it, it's going to be holding back their fluency. Let's look at it now.